Now well, what do we think? Looks like a good day to go out and do a little wheeling, huh? Let's clear this thing off. We got another storm here in Philadelphia. We've had no snow in over two years, and then we get two moderate storms in one week. So what better thing to do on a Saturday morning than head out to the Pine Barrens? It should be pretty and uh, we'll cruise over there and see what it looks like. Uh, and by we, no surprise, Bill is with me uh, again. Um, he's, he's always up for an adventure. He lives close, so nine times out of ten. Uh, you know, the two of us head out because two rings are better than one, particularly when you're talking about snow and the pine down. Like now it just kind of feels like any other forest. It doesn't have the same kind of like weird feel to it. You mean because of the snow? Yeah, because of the snow. It like changes the whole mood over here. Oh yeah, yeah, You know what's crazy is there's probably more traffic out here today than on most weekends other than maybe uh, a holiday weekend. Um, just a lot of people out hiking and we've come across several groups of 4 by 4s It's just funny, you get a little snow and uh, everyone comes out to play. It, it's been more than two years with that, with, uh, without any measurable snow in the Philadelphia area. And um, the way the weather evolves over here, uh, the, uh, the pines tend to get more rain than snow. So I don't think I've ever been over here when there's been snow on the ground. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a different experience. So after crossing over Quaker Bridge back there, I had to make a decision about which way we wanted to go. It was a couple ways to go south towards Batstow, um, a way to angle a little bit north. We decided to just kind of keep heading east um, on one of the trails that's a little less traveled. Yeah, we'll see what's down here. You know, the snow does add <clears throat> an additional factor when you're over here in the pines, which is if you come up on a place where there's a bypass, uh, it's kind of difficult to see which is the bypass. You know, normally you'd say, oh, well, where all the standing water is. Um, 
you want to avoid. But when everything's covered with snow, it's really difficult to tell. Um, and I'm just realizing um, on this particular trail here, it might be good that someone has been through already and we can see the tracks because otherwise, um, you know, could get stuck pretty well on some of this. And it's not the end of the world because, you know, we've got two rigs, we both have winches and recovery gear. But, um, yeah, if you were over here solo or not quite as prepared, um, you know, could be problematic. Of course, I wouldn't recommend coming over here in the, uh, uh, in the snow if you're not adequately prepared. There's no bypass for this guy, so see if I get through. So Dave's getting all ready with the preparation to make sure that he doesn't get stuck. Because if we do all this prep, there's just no way in the world he's going to get stuck. Right? I mean, that's the way it always works, doesn't it? Yeah, this is our insurance policy. That's right. I know, <laughs> but it still looked pretty good in the video. So we stopped here on Washington Turnpike just to take a picture because it's always kind of wide open, good light. Looks like we got a group of Jeeps coming by here too. Like I said, there's been more people out here this weekend than probably Memorial Day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is more than I remember. I won't say ever, but... It's pretty darn close. Yeah. I mean, people are... Maybe it's just that people are not going off on the real wild ass trails where they would at other times. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty amazing. What do we got here? Is that like an old taco? What is that thing? Full-size ram. The ram dam. Oh, man. 
Good day so far. Yeah. So Bill and I just made our way um, south, mostly along something called Devious Mount Road, which I had not been on before. I don't know if Bill had. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to take something we hadn't been on before when there's all the snow on top of, uh, you know, potentially deep um, water. And um, but there were tracks down there, so we figured like, well, you know, we'll follow the tracks and get used to it. So. Yeah, there was a number of bypasses which we took. There was a couple where there weren't that we went through and we had no big deal. Uh, so we're on Washington Turnpike now, which is like the widest open road in all of Warden State Forest and probably the Pine Barrens. Uh, we basically picked up the Trans New Jersey Trail here. Um, I'd like to be back home before it's dark. Um, so. I think we're just going to follow Trans New Jersey Trail part of the way back around uh, to around Atsia. Well, it's been a great day. The weather's been fantastic, if cold. And um, yeah, we're going to hit a few more things. <laughs> Like you said, we've lucked out with the weather today. I do not miss Florida at all. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't miss it at all. I do like the seasons. Yeah. All right. Bill and I have had a nice little loop through Warden State Forest here in the Pine Barrens. Uh, not too much drama, which is nice for a change. And, um, Saw a couple new trails. Saw how pretty it is out here in the pines when it snows. Uh, we're gonna head back to the parking lot, air up, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining on this uh, brief little journey through a snowy 
Pine Barren. See you on the next one.